Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss a more instruction in 8051 microcontroller. More instruction. The content of source is copied to the destination. It is, not, it is a copy, not the cut. It is like a copy paste. Move instruction. Whenever we say move, it is nothing but a copy only. And moves the value of a source into the destination. The value of the source is not at all affected. It will remain same. Both source and destination must be in internal RAM. And uh, register is also basically a RAM. If you have already seen this addressing mode video uploaded in my channel, it will be better. Once if you understand move instruction properly with all the addressing modes, then it is very easy for you to understand each and every instruction of the 8051 microcontroller. And once if you understand instruction set, it will be very easy to understand the any given program. And later you will become expert in writing the program. In this video, we are going to discuss all these instructions, immediate addressing mode instructions, direct, indirect and external data movement instruction. Throughout our video, we are going to use this screenshot. This side, whatever you are finding is a set of instructions or a program. And these things are registers of a 8051 microcontroller. This is a program, what you have written, the same thing it is there written. And the content of the memory you can observe in this particular window. So layout in all the slides what I am going to use. When ORG000 is executed, PC will become 000H. After the execution of each instruction, now we are going to discuss about the content of the destination. When move R0, hash 31H is executed, R0 become 31H. Sometimes I may use a capital, sometimes I may use a lowercase, both are same. When move A comma R0 executed, R0 content is moved to the A register. Similarly, when we execute a move R1 comma A, A content is moved to the R1. Now, R0 was value was how much? 31. Hence, 31 is copied to the A and A is having 31. Hence, R1 will become 31. When I execute a move R2, 33, hash 33, 33 will be moved to the R2 register. Similarly, when I say move DPTR, comma hash 1234, DPTR will become 1234. Whenever OR is 000 executed, PC becomes 0. But now you are observing different value PC because whole program is already executed. So last end instruction address is there in the program counter. Now move R0 comma has 31H. 31 is copied to the R0. Move A comma R0. The content of R0 is moved to the accumulator. Move R1 comma A. The content of A is moved to the R1 register. You can read this content also. This is available in all the slides. Move R2 comma hash 33. 33 will be copied to the R2 register. Move DPTR comma hash 1234. So 1234 will be copied to the DPTR. But remember, I have not written H here. Hence, this is converted to hex and that hex number is moved to the DPTR. It is a hex number is 04D2. So remember, you have to include H always. Coming to the direct addressing mode. Whenever I execute a ORG 000H, PC becomes 000H. Let us consider memory content. The 30th location is having a 88. What is the output after execution of this instruction? Move A comma 30H. It becomes 88 because 30th location is having 88. Move 31 comma H comma A. 31 will become 88. When I say move R2 comma 31H, 31 is having 88. Then R2 will become what? 88. 32H comma R2. 
auto content will move to the 32H. Move 33 comma hash 53H. What is the destination? 33 will become what? 53. Next, move 34 comma 33H. The content of 33 will be moved to the 34. 33 is 153, hence it will become 34. Even if you not understood all these things, don't worry. Next few, few slides are kept for these things only. Now, when you execute ORG 000, PC becomes 00 here. Now, execution will start from here. When move A, 30H executed, 30H contains will move to the accumulator. Read this also, observe the animation also. Next, when move 31H, A executed, the content of A is moved to the 31 register. When move 32H, auto executed, the content of auto is moved to the 32H. See, see the animation. When move 33 h comma hash 53 executed, 53 is moved to the location 33 h. When this executed, the content of 33 h is moved to the 34 h location. Let us consider indirect addressing mode. And these are the content of the memory location before the execution starts. Move R0, hash 31, R1 become 31. Similarly, move R1, hash 32, R1 become 32. Move A, at R0, the content of A becomes what? The content of memory pointed by R0, R0 be kya hai? 31, 31 content is 0, hence it is 0. Similarly, move at R1, hash 33H, 33H will be moved to the memory pointed by R1, hence 32 will become 33. Similarly, the content of accumulators move to the memory pointed by R1. So, 32 location becomes 00. And move at R1, 34. 34 content will move to the location pointed by the R1. These things in detail we are going to discuss now. Move R1, hash 31H. Observe the animation. 31H is moved to the register. When move R1, has 32 executes, 32 is moved to the R1. When move A, at R0 execute, read this, content of memory location pointed by the R0 is moved to the A register. Also the animation. When this executed, R0 be 31, 31 is 0, 0, that will be moved to A register. Now when the move at R1, hash 33 executed, 33H is moved to the memory location pointed by R1. So, this 33 should go where? Observe the animation when this is executed. 33 should be moved to the location pointed by R1. It is a 32. Content of A is moved to the memory location pointed by R1. Move at R0, 34H. The content of memory location 34 is moved to the memory location pointed by R0. Consider the another example. The same set of instructions we have taken, but the memory content are different. Now pause the video. Try to write the output after the execution of each instruction in this sequence. Hope you have written. ORG 00Z, PC becomes 00. Move R1, hash 31H. R0 become 31H. Move R1, hash 32H. R1 become 32H. Move A, comma at R0, A become 42. How? Observe this. R0, at R0 is there. What is the R0 value now? We have a 31. 31 me kya hai? that will be brought into the accumulator. Similarly, move 
at R1 comma has 33, 33 will be copied to memory pointed by R1 that will go to the 32 location. Next, we have a move at R1 comma A. The content of A is moved to the memory pointed at by R1. Last instruction we have move at R0, 34 inch. The content of 34 location moved to the memory pointed by R0. 34 should go to next. Consider the external data moves. We have an instruction move a comma hash 44 h a becomes 44 move dptr comma hash 0034 dptr becomes 0034 and move x this is very important we write x for a external data move x at dptr comma a the a content will move to the memory pointed by the dptr but it is external this is one important point you have to remember and similarly next is dptr becomes 0035 next is the content of memory 0035 external memory move to the accumulator when this executed move a comma hash 44h 44 is moved to the a register next move dptr comma hash 0034 0034 is moved to the dptr register and move x at dptr comma a a is moved to the external memory location pointed by dptr move dptr comma has 0035 means 0035 is moved to the dptr when i execute move x a comma dpt at dptr the content of external memory location pointed by dptr is moved to the accumulator summary you have to remember this move r0 comma 33h 33 is moved to the r0 register move r0 if hash is not there 33h the content of 33 location is moved to the register r0 move r0 comma hash 33h 33h is moved to the location pointed by r0 move at around comma 33h the content of location 33h is moved to the location pointed by r0 the suggestions are always welcome references are ayala textbook and one more is majidi for more information we can visit these links thanks for watching this video share this video if you like subscribe this channel thank you